A normal healthy leg artery is wide open with smooth unobstructed flow. However, many patients experience narrowing of the leg arteries and obstruction of flow. This is called peripheral arterial disease or PAD. There are many risk factors for developing PAD. These include diabetes, smoking, age over 55, kidney disease, high blood pressure, high cholesterol, high lipids, and a history of coronary artery disease, stroke, or aneurysm. In peripheral arterial disease, the legs don't get the blood flow they need. And this can lead to the following symptoms. Rest pain in the legs and feet. Pain in the legs when walking that is relieved by rest. This is called claudication. Open wounds or non-healing scabs, hair loss or shiny skin. If you are experiencing any of these symptoms, you may have peripheral arterial disease. Notify your doctor and contact PAD specialists to schedule an appointment for a comprehensive evaluation. If PAD is left undiagnosed and untreated, infection or amputation can result. However, there is good news. PAD can be diagnosed early and can be treated in a minimally invasive manner. This means that there is no surgery involved. During your first visit with PAD specialists, you will undergo a non-invasive, meaning no pain and no procedure, comprehensive seven-point lower extremity arterial evaluation. This evaluation consists of the following. Detailed history and physical. Walking impairment questionnaire. Pedal pulses check. Photographs of the feet and ankles. Handheld Doppler, ABI, and duplex arterial ultrasound. This will all be conducted by PAD specialists' team of healthcare professionals, all of whom specialize in the management of PAD. The PAD specialists' team will explain everything to you thoroughly. If they discover that your arteries are blocked, for example, that you have PAD, they will explain the PAD revascularization procedure to you. During the PAD revascularization procedure, depending on what the physician finds, there are various techniques he can use to restore blood flow to your legs. Angioplasty. A small balloon is used to gently dilate the inside of your artery. Atherectomy. A tiny device is used to remove the plaque from inside the walls of your artery. Stent. A small, metallic, porous tube is placed inside your artery to help keep it open. Please keep in mind, the PAD revascularization procedure is not surgery. There is little to no pain. And best of all, you will go home the same day and you will be back to normal activities the next day. Call us to make an appointment for your initial evaluation or have your doctor refer you to us. PAD Specialists, specializing in the diagnosis and treatment of PAD.